Hi everyone, welcome back for a whole the sentence for Rag the Rat, sentence three this week. Remember, my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn, when it's your turn, you say it out loud so that you can remember all the words. Don't forget any or don't miss any out. And hopefully we'll get three pats on, three pats on the back, three ticks for a pat on the back today. So, my turn. Rag the Rat put his big top hat on the mat. Rag the rat puts his big top hat on the mat. Quite a long sentence today. Rag the rat puts his big top hat on the mat. Rag the rat puts his big top hat on the mat. Let's have a look at what we need for a successful sentence today. We need capital letter at the start. And again, the sentence begins with a capital R today. So you'll have had lots of practice throughout the week. You'll need finger spaces between your words. There's loads of words in today's sentence. So there'll be lots of finger spaces too. At the end of our sentence, full stop. Ha! And once we've finished, we'll get our pointing fingers ready. We'll go back to the start and we'll read it out loud together to make sure it makes sense. Tricky words that we need this week. This one's still here. The. Now this one, it looks like this in the classroom. The word put. But this, the word we need today is puts, because he puts his top hat on the mat. Puts. My turn. Rag the rat puts his big top hat on the mat. Rag the rat puts his big top hat on the mat. Last time before we write. Rag the rat puts his big top hat on the mat. Write it. And let's see how you got on. I'm a pink for please pen. You could use pink crayon, pink pencil, or you could just use your normal pencil. Have you remembered a capital letter at the start? If you have, give yourself a tick. I'm sure you're getting better at them from all the practice this week. Have you got finger spaces between each of your words? If you do, pick one. Give yourself a tick. Have you got a full stop at the end of your sentence? If you do, give yourself a tick. And will we pick a bonus one today? Let's see. Bonus point if you can underline all of the rhyming words. You done it yesterday, but I think there's gonna be an extra one in there. So you get a bonus point if you manage to find the rhyming words. So that means about four ticks today. If you've got four ticks, give yourself a pat on the back, three ticks, pat on the head, two, pat on the shoulders, and one, a finger clap. And let's get our pointing fingers ready, and we'll go back to the start to read out loud together. Off we go. Rag the rat puts his big top hat on the mat. Well done if you managed to keep up and you got it all right. Now, a little challenge I thought might be quite fun to do at home today is if you can create a magic trick of your own. Now, Rag has a big top hat. So you might not have a top hat, you might have a top hat, um, but you could get your favourite hat. Can you create a wand? Um, it could be a stick, a twig, or it could be something that you decorate. I know some primary ones have decorated some wands this week and shared on Google. And can you create your own magic trick? What would come jumping out of your hat? Be sure to add it onto your Google Classroom because we'd love to see what you come up with. Thanks for watching.